Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I got to talk about one of these ways that a lot of artists have been losing a whole, whole, whole lot of money, and that is paying for features. Now, I'm not saying paying for all features in all situations in terms of features is a waste of money, but here is the situation that I'm particularly talking about. Now, a lot of artists, they somehow might come across a check, get a lot of money, and then for whatever reason, they say, I want to get in contact with this person, this artist, and get them on my song. They do that, have zero established relationship with that artist, they get the feature, they drop the song, going, oh my God, I got Young Thug on this track, I got Chris Brown on this track, or oh my God, whoever is on this track, and because that artist is on the track, the track's gonna blow up. Nah. It doesn't work like that. There's a lot of you guys out there who have probably experienced this. Just because you have an artist on the song, what a lot of times you're gonna find, yes, you get the feature, you might pay 15 racks for that feature, and they do not promote the song. Yeah, you drop it, they don't promote the song, they don't get in the video. And for some of you guys who don't know, a lot of times these artists might not even know that this feature has even been sold. So with that being said, you're still in the same position. You have a song, you might have a bigger artist on this song, but you still don't know how to market it. So the people who care about the song, just like the people who might care about your music, still will never hear the song. Understand that it's one of the worst scenarios you can get yourself into in terms of you pay a big check. Yes, you have this artist and there seems to be so much leverage, but it's not there. So if you do decide to pay for a song, really talk through the situation try to get a contract of some sorts to at least maybe have them post maybe you got to pay extra money for a post yeah that's cool do what you got to do but at least you're going to make sure that money that you spent to actually make the song happen in the first place and get the feature will actually be money well spent get them in the video if possible if not at least discuss these things up front so you know it's not going to happen and if you have the fortune of really having a platform that's going to allow you to target the artist's fan base maybe you can put it on youtube put that artist's names first act like it's their song and you're featuring on it just to get some attention but i highly recommend you just avoiding the whole feature situation in the first place so that's about it for this video it's pretty much that simple please do not waste your money just to have all these artists in your songs unless you have a whole lot of money to keep paying for artists to be in your songs and you have a whole long-term strategy, but that's something to be discussed on the side. Most people don't have that kind of money to keep paying for big artists to feature on their songs initially and to get them in their videos and all that stuff, especially off the pay. You're better off getting some kind of established relationship where they're actually supported in some form or fashion. But I would love to know what you guys think about this. Please, in the comments, if you had this experience before and it didn't work out like you thought it would, let people know. Other than that, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.